Hi guys, thank you for joining me again today. I'm going to do a few rustic Christmas decor for you. And so the first one I want to do is a cone. And I know the cones are very popular this year, but I think it's quick and easy and they are everywhere in the store, all different kinds. So I think it'll be great to do a rope. So I'm going to do a Dollar Tree rope Christmas tree. So let's jump into this DIY. You will need a cone that you can create on your own or you can purchase from any of your craft stores. Now this is the Dollar Tree poster board and I just created a cone out of it. Very quick, very easy. And I want to go ahead and reinforce the inside with some glue. I actually went ahead and used some clear tape on it to hold it in place, which is no worries because the rope is gonna cover that. So what you'll need is a, some of the Dollar Tree rope, and I'm assuming two should be sufficient. You will also need your glue gun, your glue sticks, and scissors. I also want to add a bit of red. It's a plastic canvas cord. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay guys, so I am on my third rope. So you will need three of the Dollar Tree rope. So this is how it turned out. Absolutely love the way it looked. And so I just want to go ahead now and just trim up any loose parts of the rope. Guys, I decided I wanted to make it a tap bit smaller and not as wide as I was going before. So I'm just going to take that evenly as best as I can all the way to the top. So this next DIY, we're going to create a centerpiece. And what you will need for that is one of the Dollar Tree stockings. And I thought this was great because it looks like burlap. You'll need a vegetable can of your choice. You will need your scissors, your glue gun, glue sticks, and you also need some form of um, floral to go in the center of it. I want to say we will add some, a ribbon as well, but we'll see as we continue to work with this. I think I may want to hold on to this for another project. 
So let's put that somewhere safe. DIY is going to be a jewelry container and so you will need a little ornament and we're, I got this from Hobby Lobby it comes I want to say eight in a pack and they have them at 50% off I'm only using it for shape right now you will also need a little base and I have this from all the Actually, I save all of these. Um, you never know what you can use it for. And so I believe I want to go ahead and use it for a base. So we'll see how that work. I'll share with you that right after we create the jewelry container. So the first thing you want to do is take your Dollar Tree rope and you want to place some glue on it. Let's get that out of the way then you want to 
carefully bend it. Carefully, you don't want to burn yourself. Squeeze it together in a circle and then just begin to twirl it. Add a little bit of glue and continue to go around in a circle. want to say go around around three times or whatever feel comfortable for you so I went around three times and it's good to look like that you go ahead and take your ball lay it on top and just continue to twirl. This is just for shape. Now you're going to lay your glue on the rope, not onto the ball. So guys, this is how all three DIYs turned out. I hope you like the way that they look. If you do, give me a thumbs up and share the video with your family and friends. It does help my channel to grow and I truly appreciate that. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know which one is your favorite DIY.